Freddy. Hello, Freddy. How are you? Fine. How are you? How was your weekend? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I only see you moving your mouth, but I can't hear anything you say. Hello, Freddy. But I was able to hear you at the very beginning, and it seems like maybe your earphones have false contact, maybe, I'm not sure. I can hear you now. Not anymore. I hear you now. Hi, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was the problem? Well, I have to change my earphones. Uh huh. And okay. now I have other. Yes. You know, as as you use things, you know they start uh, giving you problems just by using it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you use those earphones for something else? Yes. Yes, I have other two with that I connect with Bluetooth. Okay. And you listen yeah. to music and everything? Yeah. I I listen to music a lot because I don't like watch TV. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you prefer music than uh, television? Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know about movies or something like that. I don't have a lot of knowledge. <laughs> okay, so you're not interested in getting Netflix? No, really no. Okay. Um, Spotify, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Spotify? What do you mean? Oh, okay, okay, fine, good. Welcome, everybody. Jose, Evelyn, and Robert. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I can't complain. Good. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Um, a little bit. Mm. I have to say, que no estuvo tan ocupado. Uh, not busy. Not busy. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, relax, average. Yeah normal so robert how was your weekend weekend uh well i i just had enough time to rest a little bit good good uh, besides good. that it was it was a good weekend 
Do you sleep during the day? On that weekend, yes. Okay. If I was too tired from the... Okay, so when you sleep during the day, you don't have any problems at night? No. Good. I don't have problems at all since... It's just to recover strength from, from the week. Good, very good. What about you, Jose? How was the weekend? Just working, just working. Okay. Good, good. All right, so um, do you remember how to say reponer in English? Mm. You see the chat? Makeup. Yes. Makeup. The, the, the yes. same. Use makeup like a girl. <laughs> yes, but the only difference is um, what the girls use is just one word, and this one here is separated. Ah. Uh. And this one here is um, makeup. And what you use uh -huh. in the morning is makeup. Mm, okay. <laughs> so in the morning, you use makeup. Last mm -hmm. Friday, we made up for the class on, on, on Monday. So what's, mm. the, so what's the past tense of makeup? Made up. Made, made up. up, exactly. So last Friday, we made up for the class. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Now, do you guys remember what we did on, on Thursday? <laughs> Dialogues? What, what kind? Uh, uh huh. Model. Okay. Yes. So on 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 Friday when we had the class, um, we had a small PowerPoint presentation that I'm going to send you guys tonight when we finish the class. So you guys have uh, all the material just in case you need to reinforce any particular topic. Okay, have you had the chance to check the platform? People? Last week? Uh, the new unit for this week? The unit number three. Yes, or unit three. No, unit three. Okay. I, ha I was making the knowledge check of the unit three today. Uh-huh, okay, good. Teresa uh, and Fanny, welcome to the class. Thank you. Good evening. Okay. So, who had the chance to check the platform today? I check it on Saturday. I okay. Uh, which unit, Teresa? I finished unit three and okay. uh, mid midterm exam. Oh, very good. Very good. Hello, Nadia. How are you? Hi. I'm sorry. I didn't find the folder the access to it. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. So, if if you guys check the, the platform, there is a... Uh, uh, the first topic, the lady talks about defining and non-defining clauses. Do you remember? Can, can someone explain the differences between defining and non-defining? Or do you want to see some examples first? Well, the defining clause, if I remember appropriately, it's a clause that necessary has to be on the... In the sentence. Uh, in the sentence. Because Why? it's explaining something about the subject or something about the thing that the, sen that the sentence is trying to describe. 
Right, right. And the non uh, the non relating clauses is just with the usage of commas. With commas, you, you can go ahead and separate all the information, but that information is not vital for the entire subject. Very good. The entire... Very good, yes. Hello, Astrid. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. I see names, but there's one that says, Ti que eres pobre. Who's that? Who's that? Do you guys know? No? I don't have idea, teacher. Okay. That's an alias someone is using. It says, say you're poor. Okay, very good. That was a very good explanation. Does anybody else want to try and give your own version about the differences between defining and non-defining? In the video, they say that defining relative clauses uh, gives essential information about a noun. Right. And what about non-defining? Uh, the, the information is optional. Right, right. So let me give you some examples so we have a better idea of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm, not this one. <clears throat> All done. Nope, that's not the one. Give me one second. No, 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 no. Hold on. Where is this? You can speak meanwhile. Can you see the PowerPoint? No. <clears throat> At this moment we're seeing the website, not the PowerPoint. Okay, hold on. Let's see this here. What about now? The same feature. The same, okay. Let me see. Uh -huh. This should work. Do you see it now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can I have a volunteer to read the first example? No. Okay. So the, the three examples that we have here. We're talking about defining relative clause. And like your friends were saying, uh, a relative clause, all the information that we have in it, it's essential for you to understand everything. So volunteer to read the first one. Defining relative clauses. Mm -hmm. Do you know the, the guy who came today? Okay. Now let yeah. me ask you this. Do you think that the last three words are necessary to understand the whole question? Yes. Right. Because yes. imagine that you're in the office and five different guys uh, came yesterday, the day before yesterday, and the last one today. So for you to understand the whole question completely, you would have to say, do you know the guy who came today. Who came today is a defining relative clause because we depend on the last three words to understand the whole question. 
Let's analyze the second one. Someone else. Do you remember the cell phone that I found in the park? Okay. So I want to be very specific and I want to make sure that you understand which cell phone I'm referring to. So since I want you to be very clear about which cell phone I'm talking about, I will say, do you remember the cell phone that I found in the park? That I found in the park is the part that I need for you to understand entirely which cell phone I'm talking about. Uh, and I need another volunteer to read the last question. Can you send me the link that you shared in the class? Okay, can you send me the link that you shared in class? Now, if I say, can you send me the link? That will be like, what link? So I want to be very specific and I say, can you send me the link that you shared in class? So when I say that you shared in class, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, let me show you the second example with non-defining. Okay, uh, another volunteer to read the first example about Barack Obama. Anybody? Um, Barack Obama, who is retired, was the president of the United States. Thank you. Now look at this one here. Who is retired? This part right here. Now imagine that, that those three words are not there. Now, can you read the sentence again, omitting that part, please? Barack Obama was the president of the United States. Thank you. So as you can see, we can omit this part that says who is retired and the sentence still makes sense. So you say Barack Obama was the president of the United States. Does that sentence make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. Now let's check the second example. Another volunteer, please. Toyotas which are made in Japan are well accepted by people. All right. Now read it again, omitting the blue part. Toyotas are well accepted by people. Okay. So if we omit the second part, the one that is color blue, do you think the sentence still makes sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, it does. And that's the reason why we call it non-defining. That means that we can omit that part and the sentence still makes sense. Now, in the second, in the first one you said, who is retired? That is extra information, but we don't really need that part to say that, Ob that Obama was the president of the United States. In the second example, we don't need to mention that Toyotas are from Japan and have the, the complete sentence. Uh, and one last one, uh, one more, someone else? My English class? My English class that is held from 8 to 9 p.m. is online. Okay, good. Now, read it again, but please omit um, the blue part. My English class is online. All right. So if you say my English class is online, that's a complete sentence right there. Now, you want to be very specific and you say my English class that is held from 8 to 9 p.m. is online. But we don't really need the time so people can understand that your English class is online. Now, uh, now do you guys see the differences between defining and, and non-defining? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. So we have this here. Defining, that means that all the information that you have in the question or the sentence, everything is necessary. Now, when we talk about non defining, we're talking about a particular part of the sentence that we don't really need, but we still mention. Any questions? Um, questions <laughs> about defining or non-defining? No? No, no. 
Okay, good. Now, last Friday, as I told you before, uh, there's going to be a little bit of everything in the class. There will be some grammar, there will be some speaking, there will be some vocabulary. Uh, who was here on Friday? Can you remind me? Who was here on Friday? Me, Evelyn. Evelyn, yes, Evelyn was here. Yeah. And the others, where were you? Were you having dinner? No. Were you at the movies? <laughs> Waiting for the traffic to go oh. down. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Or were you in a hammock? <laughs> under a mango tree <laughs> okay yeah traffic on fridays can be uh, a little bit bad it can be a little bit bad yes. okay so evelyn can do you remember the topic we were discussing uh, <laughs> um, transportation no <laughs> uh not exactly do you see the screen? Yeah. Accident. Accidents, Acc right. Yes. It's not a nice topic, but it's something that, you know, happens every day. It happens every day. So that's going to be the, the topic for today. I will give you guys 10 minutes. I'm going to make the groups and uh, uh, you guys talk about this. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. So let's do this. Da, da, da. And here we go. Okay. You see your partners? All right. So does everybody have access to the question? Okay, Nidia and Karen, can you see the questions? Um, yeah. No, I can see it. What about now? Yes, yes. yes. All right, so let's begin the talk. Okay. Have you ever had any work-related accidents? Cutting already. Work related. Mm. No, not yet. No, no, I'm not. He says not yet. Maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's related to work, but it happened in in the in the building. Okay. I went to the bathroom. Yes. And uh, the door you have to um, lift lift it with your foot because it doesn't fix it's okay not, it's, it's not balanced okay so when i lift lift it uh, the door um uh, fell off came to me and i have a hurt here in my on your nose oh, yes oh yeah it is work related okay yes yeah. okay what about but, karen and freddie no, I'm not. Uh, the only not accident that I, that I have in, at my office every day is because there is a hole, a little hole in the floor. Okay. So when I, when I walk to my desk, all the time, the heel always, always gets stuck. Gets into, yes, oh into my. the hole. How big is the hole? Uh, I don't know, uh, a centimeter, maybe, no. Okay, because high heels, know. they can go in a very small space. Yes. Yes, that's the problem. I yep. use a very high and uh, I don't know how to say, uh, delgado, uh, very thin, thin, very thin thin. heels. Okay. Yes. All right. So you use high heels every day? 
every day since 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh my God, four feet. <laughs> well. All right. I, so let, let me visit your friends in the other room. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Next question. Number. Maribel is asking for question two. Yeah, right, right. You can see the the question on screen. Which question are you discussing now? Yeah, we already discussed the question number one, two, and three. Okay, good. Yeah. So, but, okay, now you can ask me, Lorena. The question number four. Do you see the questions, Lorena? I, no, 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 no. Okay, what about you, Mr. Vides? Do you see the questions? Yeah, I can see all the questions. Okay. So l let me read the question for you, Lorena. It says, what do you think of the expression, he was an accident or she was an accident? Meaning that his or her parents didn't plan on having him or her? Is it number four? Uh, yeah. Yes, number four. Okay. What do you think of the expression, was an accident? Lorraine, are you there? Yes. Okay. Okay. What do you think of the expression he she was an accident, meaning his her parents didn't plan on having him her this question. Okay. Okay, so normally when we say that someone was an accident, we think that that they can be talking about that they didn't plan uh, on having him or mm -hmm. her, you know, that is the meaning that we give to this kind of expression. Exactly. Okay. Question number, yeah? Yeah, tell me, tell me. Question number five. Have you ever made an insurance claim for an accident? I haven't made any kind of insurance claim for an accident because I didn't have any accident before. Okay. Good for you. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, that is good for us. Yeah. Lorraine, have you had any accidents before? No, I haven't. Never? Never. My goodness. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's good. You know, in my lifetime, I had... Yes, I, I had... Uh-huh, yes. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh, yeah. No, I said that in my lifetime, I have, I have had three serious car accidents. What? Yes. What is car it? Accident. Car accidents. Yeah. Car accidents. Yeah. And... So they, did you claim any kind of insurance or <laughs> the company didn't give nothing to you, any kind of compensation, something like this? Uh, only, uh, the, the only time that I had a uh, compensation, it was uh, another car hit the one that I was driving. Mm -hmm. So there was only material damage. Nobody was injured. And, and I think that the insurance company was very nice with me because they gave me almost $900 just to fix one door. That was nice. Yeah. And you know, and but, I, yes, tell me. But when we talk about uh, the company, uh, we're talking, you are talking about the car insurance company. Right, the other driver yeah. had an insurance uh, company. So yeah. when, 
the, when they came with the inspection of the car, you know, that they saw that they, the door of the car was seriously damaged. So yeah. they said, look, uh, we can fix it with like $900. Do you want to fix it or do you want the money? And I said, give me the money. I'll fix it myself. Yeah. yeah. So I took it to another place and I paid like $175. So I ah. had like $700 profit. Nice. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, it was a lucky break because but I needed the money too. <laughs> yeah, but no, nowadays if you want to make any kinds of insurance claim, they want to make an investigation. They want to know everything, what happened. They want to see videos. They want to know a lot of kinds of evidence. Because they don't want to, they don't want to give you, they don't want to support you, they don't want to give the money to, to back up. Exactly. I don't. It's true. Now they, I don't know. True. I never have any kind of experience like this. Okay. Okay. Fine. I okay. can't drive. <laughs> can, can, do you do you drive, Lorraine? Do you drive? No, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about you, Vides? Do you drive? Yeah. <laughs> and you never had any car accidents before? I never. Good. Even when I had been drunk, I never had <laughs> any accident. You're so I just, <laughs> I usually, uh, I usually uh, ride on, on motorcycle and even like this, even when it's raining, like right now, I never have any kind of accident. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah. That's good for you. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay, I will see you guys in a minute. Let me visit another room. Okay. okay. Right. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, we'll, we'll have an accident. Never. Yeah. So let's go ahead with the next question. Have you ever made an insurance? For an accident. What? Have you ever made an insurance claim for an accident? Mm. Okay, do you guys know as a Suiza, La Centroamericana, okay. yes. CISA? I mean, okay, those are examples of insurance companies. Yes. 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 I okay. hired I hired uh, a plan to insurance that covered my life too, and and the life of your person. Okay. And have you ever used this? Thanks to God, never. Okay, good. What about the others, Astrid? In my, in my case, in my case, uh, yes, I. I have made an insurance claim. Okay, and, and, what ha and what happened in that in that time, Astrid? In that time, I have a, a car accident. Were you driving? Yes, I was driving, and I ch chocar. How do you say? I crashed. I crashed. Okay, was it your fault or the other driver's fault? No, be, no, I fault. I It was your fault. I I was fault. Okay. And were you distracted when you were driving? Yes, I were distra distracted. Changed the the radio. Oh my goodness. And and was uh very late at oh. night. Okay. And I was tired. Because the last night I was the velado, how do you say? Okay. Uh, Overnight? Overnight. Not exactly. When you not say exactly. desvelarse, you say stay up. So yeah. you say, yeah. you know, I was very tired because I had stayed up the night before. Stayed up. Okay. okay. I have stayed up before. For the night. night before. The night before. Okay. 
Okay, and the police came, they made a report, the inspection and everything? No, no, because I crashed with with a, a bypass and no, doesn't have three tier damage. Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. So, so there was no one uh, pressing charges, you can say. Pressing charges. All right, good. And Robert? Well, in that case, I didn't make the, ins the insurance claim. It has been made by, a, by one of my parents. But I was driving in a drunk. Uh, a drunk driver? driver? Hit me on the back of the car. Okay. And he didn't want it to be irresponsible and he ran away. Oh, so he took off. He, he didn't hit wait. Me in, the, in the back of the car. After that, he just like uh, see a little bit of damages and run away. Didn't want it to be responsible for the damages. Okay. So I, I just had to make an insurance claim okay. to solve that, that damage. Okay. And you didn't try to catch the other driver, did you? I tried, but as I said, so he ran away. Yeah, no, but He's it's better car. if you just let him go. Yeah, he was really, really drunk. Yeah, especially if they're drunk, you know. You don't know if they have a weapon or if they can react. He didn't angrily. have a weapon, but as well. Imagine. Okay. So let's go ahead with the next question. Do you think there'll be another major, major nuclear accident? Well, it depends. Do you remember Chernobyl? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Chernobyl. Well. I, was, I was watching the series. The mini series. You were and watching. Uh, what were you watching? You said. Uh, the the series on oh. HBA. Oh, HBO. Is there a series about Chernobyl? Yes, not. 90, 99 percent, I know, I, I guess. Okay, I didn't know there was a, 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 a series of Chernobyl. It's well. a little, a little traumatizing, how do you say? Traumatizing. Uh -huh. Trauma. Yeah, it was a very serious accident. Yes. And the problem is that the Soviets, they stayed quiet. They didn't want to accept at first. So when they finally recognized it, when they admitted that there had yeah. been an accident, it was late. There was a lot of damage already. They are guilty because they tried and they test, tested, tested. Tested. They yes. was testing. They was testing with with unprofessional personnel. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go with the next question. Okay. What do you remember about the space shuttle accident? Space shuttle? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning? Space shuttle. Uh huh. Shuttle. Well, I just remember the one that has blew up when it was reaching the stratosphere. Yeah, I don't the, the, name. The, the Challenger. The Challenger, yes. I just remember oh, that one. Okay. That it just has just like experimented some issues with the instrument that they do have inside and, some, and something make a. Uh, just like fire to reach the combustion, the combustion chamber. And that made it blow up everything. But finally, the, the, the Challenger shooter was success, no? 
No. No. And it, they, it exploded. It exploded in the middle of the air. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. And, yeah. and what about the the Apollos? There, there uh, was mis missions. Yeah, when we when you say space shuttle, you're talking about missions that go to space. But before to have before to have success, Apollo's pass a pass uh, for for different accidents. Right. Trial error. Trial error. So at the beginning, they were having uh, different inconvenience. They were having different accidents. Okay, let me visit another room. Shortly, we're going to be uh, so one session again. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. okay. Have you ever... I didn't know. Ladies. Hello. Hello. Which oh, one are yes. you doing? Uh, number nine. Nine. Number, oh, so you're almost finished. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what do you think accidentally on purpose means? We were talking about that and I don't know. Could be when you want to to have money from an insurance could be. Could be. And you create the accident? Yes. When you plan everything. Okay. Uh-huh. Or okay. let's say you want to go to Seguro Social and you want to stay home for three days. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say incapacidad? Sick leave. Uh, ¿Cómo? Sick leave. Sick, sick, okay, let, let me see. Uh, sick. Like sick, like when uh -huh. you're sick, uh -huh. leave that you go uh -huh. home. Sick uh -huh. leave. So you said, I went to Seguro Social and they gave me a two-day sick leave. Sick leave? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, but yeah, maybe that kind of people are picaros. <laughs> <laughs> Bad intentioned. Bad what? Intention. what? What do you say? Bad, Bad intention. intention. Bad Yes, bad? intention, bad, bad intention. intention, bad intention. Yep. Bad intention. Uh huh. But but some some enterprise uh, create uh, uh, some accidents to get money uh, for the from the from the insurance. Uh huh. Yeah. That is very common in the United States. Ah, uh, yeah. I know cases of people that they went to the States or Canada, they had an accident, they received money, and they came back to El Salvador. Uh-huh. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> With money, money. Money, exactly. Money yeah. talks. Mm -hmm. What about and the last uh, question? What was the last tragic accident you read about? We, we read about tragic accidents every day here in our country. Yes. Especially with motorcycles. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever seen any serious motorcycle accidents? Yes. Where people die? Yes. Here uh, near to my house in the uh -huh. in, in the block? Yes. Um I have seen a lot of uh, tragic accidents really? with motorcycles. Yes. So yes. the where you live there is a lot of traffic Teresa? Yes. Yes, because it's uh, a kind of main street, and um, 
uh, we have some, uh, I can't remember who this is, Oficina. Offices. So we have some offices in front of my house. Oh, um, okay. Mined is an, an educational institute and oh. um, we also have traffic always always have traffic and as as i was telling you i have seen several accidents here okay do you live near esma in front really yes yes oh i i was in a project uh a ministerio de educación uca we were training teachers from public schools oh, really? and I, and oh, I on weekend on weekends, Saturday, uh -huh. Sunday. Yes. So I went to Santana for about three months. Really? Yes. So in that corner, you can see a a, a cruz, a cross, a what? Yeah, a, a, in a cruz. Intersection. Oh, no, a no. real cross. Yes, because on Christmas, just the day of Christmas. Someone uh, died. A young man, yes, was a young man. My in goodness. a motorcycle. Oh yeah. my God. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Yes, it is. Funny, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, what was the last tragic accident you read about? The accident? Yes, do you read the newspaper? Today? Uh, any day. Uh, today, no, but the last week? Okay. Yes. And do you remember the last time you read something about accidents? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Was it a car accident, a motorcycle, a truck, a bus? A uh, car. A car. Accident. Uh -huh. Okay. Accident, car. Fine. Okay. I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, and here we Okay, you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, but I only see you girls and okay, now everybody's coming back. And what are the others? No, I oh, don't know. We lost Freddy in the way. <laughs> okay, now they're coming back. Now they're coming back. All right, good. Now, um, are there any comments related with the questions you guys were discussing? Any vocabulary or any question that maybe was not that clear? Oh, so everything was fine. In our group, uh, we didn't remember the dates of the, um, the Challenger accident. Oh, okay. And, uh, and Chernobyl accident. Yes. I think the Challenger was in 83, 84. 86. Was it 86? Yes, yes. Okay. I remember 86. the, uh, I remember the event, uh, but I, I didn't remember exactly if it was 83, 84, 85. You said 80, 80, 80. January 80, 86, they say. Okay, yeah, it was and on Cher television. Yes, yes. And Chernobyl was the same year. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah, Chernobyl was very serious. Yes, it was. Yeah. It seems like 1986 was not a good year, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, it was the year that I went to the United States, so it was a good year. Okay, okay, <laughs> maybe for you. <laughs> it was okay. an earthquake here. Oh, that one too? Uh -huh. October 10th. Uh huh. It's oh, true. Yeah. See, yeah. it's not such a good year. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Bad things were happening everywhere. Yep. Uh-huh, it's true. Okay. 
All right. So um, if if you guys watch the oh. the platform, there is a part of the video where the girl is talking about. Um, I don't know if you guys remember when she talks about what makes oh. a city. Uh, no. Do you see the PowerPoint now? Uh, no. You don't see it? No. No. All right, hold on. Oh. No, it's not here. You know what? Do you see it now? Yes. Okay, what's yeah. the name of the slide? What makes, makes a city? What makes okay. a city? What makes a city? Now here we have about seven different components that the girl mentions in the video. What makes a city? Uh, can somebody read the first one? Mm. How do you pronounce the first one? Architecture. Architecture. Teacher, I'm not seeing, uh, I can't no. see the, the presentation. The it's yeah. just the, the, no, the slides. The we are media. looking the, the website. Okay. The video screen. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. What about now? Yeah. Okay. What makes a city? Okay, what makes a city? What is the first one? Architecture. Architecture. Number two. Cuisine. Three. Customs. Customs. Number four. Festivals. Next one. <laughs> Historical sites. Historical sites. Historical sites. What's the next one? Nightlife. Next one. Scenery. Scenery. Yes. Scenery. And the last one is? Shopping. Shopping. All right. Very I good. like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I imagine. <laughs> I think that everybody likes shopping. Yes. Only women. Uh, I, I like <laughs> Liar. <shopping>. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the only thing is that the next day you wake up with minus, minus 50, minus 100. Oh, my God. But yes. anyways, now my um, purse hurt. Yeah, your your purse hurts. Your yes. pocket is crying. Yes. All right. Now, uh, any questions about vocabulary here? Uh, uh, customs is about what, teacher? Uh, anybody can answer that. What is customs? Cliente. Uh, no, in that case, it's customers. In this case, it's a little bit... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, customers. Customers. Traditions. Traditions. Yes, customs. Traditions. In this case, customs makes reference to traditions. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Because uh, customs for me is aduana. So exactly. That's why I ask. Yeah. Exactly. So the word customs has different meanings. Aduanas, costumbres, disfraces. Okay, thank you. Right. Um, what about cuisine? About the food of a place. Exactly, yes. What about scenery? Uh, as a theater. A theater? As a theater, can be. Okay, uh, someone else, the meaning for scenery? It's like uh, landscapes or something? Yes. The scenery usually makes reference to natural places. Yeah. But mm. it can also include buildings, monuments, uh, landmarks, and all those. Uh, it, has, it is like something good to see. Yes. Uh, beautiful to see. Yes. So imagine that uh, your best friend is coming from another country. It's her first time here. Which places of El Salvador will you take your friend to? Beaches. Mm. Right. Volcanoes. Volcano. Lake Guatepeque. 
Uh huh. Especially okay. with that nice color that he has. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What else? Historical center. Uh huh. Downtown. It's very nice. I was there last night. Mm. Drinking a cup of coffee. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but other times I go there too to drink something different. Head, but yesterday was coffee. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we have different components of what makes a city. Which ones do you guys consider uh, to be the most relevant, the most important? Could be architecture. Okay. So imagine that your friend, he or she likes architecture. What part of El Salvador will you take him to? To downtown. 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 The palace. Yes. The National Santa Palace. Santa Ana Cathedral. Santa yeah. Ana has nice places. Yes. The theater, the cathedral. How do you yeah. spell Caldi in English? Uh, Hills. Uh, City uh, Hall. Caldi. Ah, City Hall. Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Yes. Uh, City Hall. Yes, City Hall. City Hall. Uh huh. Okay, what if we talk about uh, cuisine? If we talk about food, where can you take a tourist? Pupusas. Uh -huh. mm, pupusas are delicious. A any place in particular for pupusas? Oh, oh my God. Antiguo. Los planes. Los planes. Olo cuilta. Yep. Right. Yuca from Chalchuapa. Oh. Yes. yes. With a lot of the pescas. They're really yes. good. Or in Salcuatitan, it's very delicious. Salcuatitan, yes. I've been yeah. a couple of times there with a lot of hot sauce. It's really good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, what about customs? What are the traditions in El Salvador? Uh, for example, um, traditions like um, during Holy Week. Uh huh. Yeah. What happens in Holy Week? Um, uh, the processions. Everybody yes. goes yes. to the beach. Okay, yeah, processions. If we talk about the religious point of view, the processions. Religion. Yeah. And people go to the beach also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the custom for Christmas Eve? I spend a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, some of those spend a lot of money. Yes. What do they buy? Fireworks. Clothes. Fireworks. Yes. yes. Fireworks. Clothes, food, alcohol. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And usually for that day, they, they, the supermarkets, they always have specials. Yeah. They're what? They're, yes. They're... Especially, especially expensive. Right. Like <laughs> two for one. 75% <laughs> off. Yeah. Because Mr. Callejas, he wants to see everybody drunk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If we talk about festivals, which festivals will you mention? You got pineapple, bambooters. Right. Yes. La fiesta Julia. Yes. Fiestas Julias. Yes. We have, we have a lot of things we can do in El Salvador. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we, carnival. Yeah, the carnival. I want to go this year. In San Miguel. Yes, it's really nice. Really nice. Okay, so people, it's already time. We're going to stop here. And tomorrow we're going to finish talking about what makes a city. So we have about four more things that we can okay. mention tomorrow okay okay so if you don't have any questions thank you for making the time again for making the space and i'll see you tomorrow same place same time have a good night
Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night to you all. Bye. Good night. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.